BD5 Pilot with you out of the Hillsboro Hangar on a Sunday afternoon, and what have I been working on? I've been working on that seat back and the seat back brace that I was making, and you'll recall I had made a lower piece that's going to be a little bit wider. I've got that all cut out and set for the uh, shoulder harnesses, and then I've been actually cutting the seat down now. So I've got that seat down to a lower position. And I've got it squared up with our my uh, fitting between those seat belt braces. It looks like I'm going to have to do little notches right about here and here to try to drop it back just a little bit more so I've got it resting against the back. As soon as I've got that set and then uh, those rivets put in with a little bit of Pro Seal, I'm going to uh, have a seat that's ready to try out. I might wait for that Pro Seal to dry though. I have the seat cut and prepped and cleaned. I've got the uh, braces that fit onto the uh, fuselage for holding that seat belt brace uh, all prepped, smoothed the uh, D-bird on the, all the holes and it's ready to apply the uh, Pro Seal to. Let me show you what uh, also I worked out over here. In the plans they call for these uh, fuel drains that you uh, have to assemble and, uh, and actually the part I've got actually is a little cooler looking than the, the part that uh, was built in the plans, and I'll, I'll set it there to show you. There's the there's the part itself, which kind of has a, a, a curved edge to it. It's round, but it goes together that same way. What I do is I have to put a little rubber seal, a little plunger, and then a spring, and then there's a little, uh, uh, I think they call it a clevis pin that fits inside there. I'm not sure, it's a press pin. Press pin fits in there and it has to be safety wired. And then once that's safety wired, it's a bit of work to get that to fit into here. I had to uh, smoothly notch the edge. That's been cleaned with Pro Seal as well. So I can get this to fit, to slide into that spot. And then since these are a custom fit, I've got to get the, uh, there, there we go, have it. There's the, there's the holes all lined up. And so, I have to carefully put Pro Seal around the edges of these. Only the edges, because I don't want to block up where that little hole is that causes that drain to work. So only around the edges and then on the uh, rivets. I've got special rivets that uh, seal, but I'm going to dip those in the Pro Seal as well when I press those in. So now I've got that Pro Seal mixed up and I'm uh, getting to know that lovely color that uh, we all know is Pro Seal. I'm using that method I told you where I utilize just a portion of these uh, prepackaged uh, dispenser tubes so I can uh, not waste a whole bunch but uh, I do have the, a sense now for the familiar smell of building a BD-5 which is the smell of MEK and Pro Seal. Well let's look at successes for today. There's a, a bracket in on this side and there's a bracket in on this side. There's a brace that uh, still needs to uh, do some drilling out to larger size for the bolts, but uh, it's in place and it's verified to uh, fit in the place that I needed, and it's measured up from that uh, floorboard so that I've got a square installation there, so it won't give me trouble with the rest of insulation. And then the seat has been notched to rest back where it belongs, and then that new uh, hinge has been installed and pro-sealed and riveted in place so that is ready for use. The fuel drains are installed and pro sealed and I managed not to get the pro seal in the working part of the valve. So that's a success. So I guess one of the final things I want to do is hop in there and see how the new seat position works with the helmet and the uh, visor and my headphones on. So we'll see how much my crazy idea works. And look at that. I can look at my wings. I can look around. Visor up or visor down. In fact, I can set this up to uh, do one of those Peter Rennie flights where we're watching what's in front of him out through his uh, visor. So this ain't bad. This is gonna work. So don't worry, be happy. 
So I'm gonna call that a successful day of work, successful weekend of work on the plane. And uh, the engine is coming actually pretty quick. They're getting th stuff together, sent over from uh, Czech Republic. And then the uh, firm here in the United States, ZDZ Engines USA is gonna be uh, putting some more components onto that engine, making sure that it's gonna run and then sending it to me. So things are coming together quick. I probably need to get the battery ordered too for the plane. But for now, BD-5 Pilot is signing out. I'll talk with you soon.